You gotta have a daily routine. It's waking up. It's prayer. It's meditation. It's journaling. It's making a gratitude list. It's setting the tone for my day. I control the pace of my day. Nobody else is gonna control it for me. So it's about day to day. My mind is still capable of going back to that place. With the 28th pick in the sixth round, number 204, the Baltimore Ravens select Darren Waller, wide receiver from Georgia Tech. 2015, draft day. Darren Waller was home alone in his room, playing video games and drinking. The last place the 22-year-old wanted to be was on a football field, and it showed soon after he arrived in Baltimore. The old adage of, you know, he's the, the first guy in and the last one to leave, it was just like the opposite for me. I was just like, you know, get in when I had to, and then as soon as I could leave, I would leave because I just didn't really want to be there. It was so anxiety-ridden. I get to the point where I'm failing all these drug tests, like on purpose, pretty much. Since middle school, Waller says he used drugs and alcohol to soothe his anxiety and depression. But that habit was untenable in the NFL. The league suspended him for a year in 2017, his second violation of its substance abuse policy. But that wouldn't be his lowest point. August 11, 2017 was the day they were having a first preseason game of that season that I wasn't going to be there. I overdosed in my Jeep. That was easily the lowest moment. How did you take the next steps towards recovery? How did that come about? The team doctors from the Ravens set up a meeting with an addiction specialist, and they were like, yeah, you need to go to rehab immediately for substance abuse, but also like social anxiety and depression, like mental health as well. As he served his year-long suspension and committed himself to rehab, Waller's outlook began to change. And for a few months, so did his occupation. I was a grocery clerk. So uh, yeah, anything that had to do with groceries, that was me. I was more content with my life then than what, what I was, you know, early on in Baltimore because, you know, I was trying to live an honest life in 11.62 an hour. And I was starting to respect myself more. So it was like, it wasn't about the money that was in my pocket or anything like that. It was just, I was just learning more about what life really means. His new outlook rekindled his love of football. Once reinstated, Waller found himself on the Ravens practice squad. That is, until they played the Raiders. The day after the game where the Ravens played the Raiders, my agent hit me and he was like, yeah, you better go to Oakland. They claimed you on the uh, active roster. Then they were like, yeah, yeah, we saw you uh, running in warmups. And we was like, you know, we don't got nobody on our team to look like that. You don't have to conquer the world in one day. Just do one thing at a time. Say you're gonna do one thing and do one thing. Waller's journey began with self-doubt, isolation, and insecurity. But his purpose now lies in helping those who feel as lost as he once did by sharing his story. Because in the end, failure or perceived setback is only temporary. Your approach, your principles, your resistance to movement or separation from your path, and it's gonna put the finishing touches on your comeback story. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.